All right, everyone, we're going to do a lab called the Lighter Lab, and we're going to figure out what gas is in this lighter by doing a little experiment. And all it takes is a graduated cylinder, some water, and a scale. Let's get started. First, we're going to weigh the lighter, okay? And this scale goes down to the thousandth of a gram, so just the air moving in the room is going to make it change. I'm going to go with this reading. We're going from, I'm going to say this is 1.29. Oh, excuse me, 12.19. All right, so 12.19 grams. That is the weight of our lighter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this graduated cylinder and I'm going to fill it up with water and by fill it up I mean absolutely to the top where we can't put any more water in it all right let me uh, angle it a little better for you so I'm putting water in it where it's absolutely 100% full okay then I'm going to take it I'm going to cover it with my hand I'm going to flip it over and get it under the water now if I stand it like that, now the uh, cylinder is full of water. There's no air in it anywhere, okay? And let's think about this water. What do you think the temperature of the water is? That's right, it's room temperature. And we can now use this water-filled graduated cylinder to measure how much gas comes out of this lighter. What? That's right. Check it out. Right now, I'm filling the cylinder with gas. And I'm going to pause this so I can finish and you don't get too bored. All right, so I've filled this thing up, and if you look, it goes down to the 100 millimeter mark, all right? So we've talked about the temperature. We said the temperature of this water and now the gas inside the tube. The temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. It's room temperature. Well, the pressure in here now is also the same as the pressure in the room because if you look, the uh, top of the graduated cylinder is right near the surface of the water. So the pressure in atmospheres inside of this cylinder is one atmospheres, is one atmosphere. And now we also know the volume of the gas. The volume of the gas in here is 0.1 liters. So if you think about it, we have all of the necessary data to calculate how many moles of gas are in this graduate cylinder. We have PV equals NRT. Let's do that real quick. So PV equals NRT. The pressure in here is one atmosphere. And since we're using atmospheres, our R is gonna be 0 0.0821. The temperature in here is room temperature so that's 296 degrees Kelvin. And the volume of that graduated cylinder is 0.1 liters or 100 milliliters. So we have one atmosphere, 0.1 liters, 0.0821, 296. Now we can solve for N or how many moles are in there. If we move our numbers around, we get 0 0.004 moles. I just happen to already know this, okay? So N is equal to 0 0.004 moles. So what do we need to do now? Well, what we should do now is reweigh this lighter. But here's the thing. The lighter is wet, so we have to go through a great deal of effort to dry it off. 
I'll save you from the boredom. Okay, I've dried the lighter. Okay. Literally using air, my shirt, tapping it on the desk. Everything I can do to get this thing dry. And now we're going to... We're going to reweigh it. Let's do it. So the new weight is 11.942 or 11.94. Okay, so the lighter originally weighed 12.19 grams and now it weighs 11.94 grams. That means 0.25 grams of gas are missing from the lighter. Therefore, there are 0.25 grams of gas in the cylinder. We know from doing, using the ideal gas law that there are 0.004 moles of gas in the cylinder. So now we know that 0.004 moles of this gas weighs 0.25 grams. So we could easily choose which one of these formulas is the formula for the gas in the slider. Let's take a look. What is the weight of ethane, C2H6? That's 30 grams, 24 plus 6. What is the weight of butane? That looks like it's going to be 58 grams per mole. What is the weight of hexane? That looks like it's going to be 86 grams per mole. So if we think about it, we know how much 0 0.004 moles of either one of these gases weighs. For the ethane, 30 times 0 0.004 equals 0 0.12 grams. <clears throat> For hexane, 86 times 0 0.004 <clears throat> weighs 0 0.34 grams. For the butane, 58 times 0 0.004 equals 0 0.04. 2.3 grams. There we go. Butane is the gas that was in the lighter. <clears throat> now, just for fun, let's do something with this butane gas instead of wasting it. I'm going to take this gas and I'm going to trap it in the cylinder and I'm going to take my hand off the top. Now, would you expect the gas to come out of the cylinder? Right? The answer is no, because butane <clears throat> weighs 58 grams per mole, and air is about 29 grams per mole. And if you've been in class, you've heard, probably heard me mention that. We can prove the gas is still in there by lighting it. So that's pretty neat, huh? And you're like, oh, well, Mr. Perkins, you've got a fire. You should put it out with water. Well, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so what do you think just happened there? Uh, take a stab at that one.